In this video, I'll show you how to record your voice for YouTube videos. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure you go and watch this video right until the end and let's go and get straight into this. Now, just before we go and get any further, I wanna quickly break down how this video is basically going to go. So it's gonna go and start off with just discussing about microphones to actually go and record your voice. Then we're gonna go and get into the second half, which is actually going and recording your voice using a really great software and then I'll show you how to edit your voice to make it go and sound a lot more professional regardless what mic you're using. So let's go and talk about microphones. So when it comes to microphones, I want to see there's a quite a lot they say. I want to try and make it as short as possible. But essentially, the more you pay for a microphone, usually the better it's going to be. However, you've probably got a mic which is going to work absolutely fine. But if you're looking for a mic for YouTube, the best mic out there for starting off is going to be the Blue Snowball. I'll link that down below, but it's a great budget microphone. Brand new, it's going to be around $60, but second hand, you're going to get it for a lot cheaper. I use a microphone called the Rode NT-USB mic, but honestly, it's not really needed. A Snowball is going to get you absolutely fine. It's going to go and record your voice. But like I said before, you've probably already got a mic which is going to work absolutely fine. But now you should go and have a mic or you have an idea of which one you want to get. Now let's go and get into actually recording your voice and editing it to make it sound really professional regardless of what type of mic you have. Now you've got a mic ready to use, let's go and actually record our voice and go and edit it on our computer. So all you want to do is head to a web browser, I'm personally using Google Chrome, and you want to make sure you go and search for Audacity or just come to www.audacityteam.org. Audacity is a great free audio software which is going to allow you to go and record your voice and it's free, it's open source, it's great. So go and click on download Audacity just here, then come under download Audacity and go and click download Audacity for Windows, Mac or Linux. Click here and then you can go and choose the version. Just go and make sure you go and get the 64-bit installer. Most systems are that these days. So go and click on it and then it's going to go and drop the download just down here. As you can see, it's around 33 megabytes. So wait for that to finish downloading and all you need to do is go and install it. It's a really simple installation process. Just go and follow what the installer says. Then once you've gone and installed it, let's go and open Audacity up. So here is Audacity. I want to quickly go through the basic controls. So at the top, you've obviously got the pause button. Then you've got the play, you've got the stop. Then you've got backwards and forwards and the record button. Then you want to come down here to microphone and make sure you go and select your microphone. As you can see, I've got a few here, but mine is microphone, USB, PMP, sound device. And then for the others, that doesn't really matter. That's just how you sort of play it back. So now you want to go and start recording. So I want to go and record something quickly and then I'm going to go and show you the best way to go and edit it to make it sound a lot better. And just a quick note before you go and record, make sure you go and leave five seconds of just recording blank space. I'll go and explain that in just a minute why. But to go and start recording, go and press on the red button and then to go and stop it, go and press on the square, which is stop. So now let's go and record and I'll meet you guys in a moment. So here we are. I just went and finished recording and as you can see, I left around five seconds at the start. I did leave a little bit more just in case I do need some. Now I want to go and play this to you so you can see what it currently sounds like and then we'll play it back at the end so you can go and see the improvements we've got and made with these effects. So here we are on Audacity just going and recording some audio to go and show you what we can go and do with it and how great it is and how much better we can go and make it sound. So let's go and do this. So there we go. As you just heard, it doesn't sound the greatest, but we can definitely go and improve this. So the first thing you want to do is go and highlight the five seconds at the start. So highlight it just like that, then go up to effect and you want to go and look for noise reduction. Then go click on get noise profile. Then once you've done that, you want to go and double click it all or triple click it just so it's all highlighted. Go back to effect and then go back to noise reduction. Then go and press OK. And then it's going to go and do the improvement. But essentially it will take a bit longer if it's a long audio clip as it's got more to go and edit. Then once you've done that, go and click edit again and go and click on filter curve. Then go and click on factory preset and go and click on bass boost. Then you want to go and press OK. Wait for this to go and do it. Then go and click on effect again, back to filter curve EQ. Then you want to go and click Manage, Factory Presets, and then go and click on Treble Boost just at the bottom here, and then go and press OK. Then once again, go back to Effect, and then you want to go and press on Filter Curve EQ, and now you want to go and do a different one, which is Low Roll Off. So go and click there, and go and press OK. Now we've done that, you want to go and press on Effect again, and go and click on Compressor, then go and press OK. Then it's going to go make it a bit bigger and you want to go and click on effect and then you want to come all the way down until you see limiter press on it and then it's going to go and launch this and all you want to do is go and type and make sure you go and click on hard limit and then press ok and boom there we go so now let's go and listen back to it now and hear how it sounds so here we are on audacity just going and recording some audio to go and show you what we can go and do with it and how great it is and how much better we can go and make it sound so let's go and do this 
In my opinion, that definitely sounds a lot better. Now we need to go and export this audio so we can go and merge it with our video in our video editing software. So all you want to do is come to the top left and go and click on file. Then all you want to do is go down until you see export. Then once you're in export, I recommend the two top ones here, either MP3 or .wav. So personally, I'm gonna go and use the .wav. So go and click on it just like so. And then we can go and choose where you want it to be saved. So I'm just gonna go and put this onto my desktop just like so, and then go and click save. Then you can go and click OK and then it's going to go and export it and as you can see there it is. It is untitled as so I didn't want to name it anything and there we go. We've now gone and got this voiceover ready to go and use in our YouTube video. If you did find this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.